All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I've got uh, Alliance Design Slim Mini Pickens here with me for a review. And we're gonna analyze the look, the sound, and the feel of this guy. But hey, don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this kind of content. So let's see how big is this guy because this is not a big one. Uh, overall length of this one is gonna be seven inches with a 4.2 inch long handle and I would say like a 2.8, 2.5 inch long cutting edge for sure and 2.8, 2.9 inch long uh, blade. So uh, definitely not a big one, but let's see how this guy compares, for example, up against Ontario Rad number one and Ontario Rad number two. How does it compare? Well, it's smaller than both of them. Let's check out what Spyderco has to offer in terms of uh, uh, Paramilitary 2 and in terms of Para 3 right over here. Boom! Both are bigger than the uh, Mini Pickens. And let's see, for example, Benchmade. Benchmade can offer your uh, bug out and mini bug out. And uh, yeah. They are, uh, no, actually this is right in the middle. So, because these are not like so much different in size, but this is falling right in between these two offerings. So very, very interesting indeed. If you take uh, Chris Reeve knives, uh, they make a pretty gorgeous uh, uh, large Sebenza 21, which of course is gonna be bigger than that. But if you want something smaller, bam, this is your guy. And this is the small Sebenza 21. Yeah, kind of like the same size. Of course, slimmer, slicker, uh, not as chubby as that one, and not as big as this big boy, of course, because that is the Custom Knife Factory Snafu 2.0 and another Custom Knife Factory gorgeousness. This is the um, 520. So, I mean, both are, of course, uh, bigger than your um, Mini Pickens. And uh, just another couple here that I have. Very, very nice and dressy knives. That's the Fontenil Pateau. Uh, Letier Nature, and this is the Fontenil Pateau Lagoyol Nature. Very, very beautiful, dressy knives. Uh, let me show you another couple options, of course, uh, because uh, how could I forget to show you a couple of Shirogorov? That's the F95 Slim Nudist, and this is the uh, Shirogorov Neon R20. And look at that, both are bigger than this Alliance design. Uh, let me show you another couple dressy one, because here we have a beautiful one. This is the uh, Mr. G Gorky Knives Mini Ares Prince of Darkness. Beautiful, uh, full dressed one. And uh, why not? Look at that. We also have this uh, Peter Rassenti Large Nirvana 3.0. And because I'm showing you some uh, of the full dress ones. Look at that. This is uh, Rod Olson Gemini, another Canadian. Eh, because we have full dress, eh? we have Canadian, why not? Look at this. That's the uh, Kirby Lambert uh, uh, Rain in uh, a uh, dragon skin and carbo quartz dress. So another custom uh, Canadian right over there. So uh, what do we have guys here? Yeah, it's the Alliance design, Slim Mini Pickens. It's a, uh, it's a cool one. Definitely, definitely a cool one. Uh, it's not a cheap one. Uh, this is uh, this can run uh, like in the thirteen hundred uh, uh, dollar range uh, because this is a one of ten full dressed ones. Only ten were made, and it's a gorgeous one. I mean, let's be honest. This is a full Moku Tai scales like two. Look at that. Uh, beautifully, beautifully chamfered all the way around. Heavily skeletonized on the inside. I don't know if you can appreciate the pockets over there. Very, very good lines, nice shapes. The blue colors is just fantastic. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, you've got some 3D milling going on. You have uh, uh, one finger groove like over here, which is accommodating your finger like a boss, like perfect. This is comfy, absolutely. And then full belly here. So one, two, three, you can wrap your fingers around. My pink is just uh, short uh, of uh, space, but still, because of course this is a small knife, 
You can even do like a choke up uh, position a little bit, something like that, using maybe your fingertip. Don't use the, the full finger because, yeah, you're, gonna, you're not going to be happy about that. But just like that, it's fine. So you can choke it up a little bit. So that's fine. Um, you have uh, uh, some, some nice uh, handle design, I have to say. Uh, I'm not so happy about the this area over here like I, I still feel that this should be like re reversed so the other way around but still it's just me because here you see it digs a little bit so you have a little bit of hot spot when you open the blade when you hold the blade no it's good but when you uh, deploy it like that you need to, to dig to push this uh, into the palm of your hand you're gonna feel a little bit um, but anyways, we have a very cool uh, blade uh, nonetheless. Uh, overall look when closed, it's just sleek. It's just nice flowing. It makes sense. It's, yeah, it's well thought. Um, you have, uh, I think this is a T6 Torx bit uh, screw in order for you to be able to disassemble this guy. Um, this is a loner, so I'm not gonna do any uh, maintenance video on this one because there's no need, it's just perfect and it's not mine, so I'm not gonna do it. Um, also, you have flush, completely flush pivot and uh, not protruding hardware uh, right there. You have, uh, um, there's no need uh, for stainless steel lock face insert, for integrated lock bar stabilizer, lock bar reliefs, detent ball. No, this is a button lock, guys, so you don't need any of that stuff because there's no need for that so basically here you have like a notched uh, um, tang of the blade with this button which pushes on a spring which is uh, hidden right here so this tends to come back and when you the spring pushes this up there's a notch therefore the blade is locked you want to unlock the blade you just push it this guy down and goes down and there's a second detent uh, so you see even if you push the button lock the blade still is safely uh, closed. So uh, an extra safety feature, uh, it's like the second detent, uh, which you can remove if you want to have like a fidgety uh, knife. Uh, it's the same thing like in, um, in the spider Kosh mock, for example, uh, that uh, has uh, two detents. So keep that in mind. Um, also, you have a very, look at the pocket clip, guys. That's nuts. Look at the colors going on over here, just gorgeous, just beautiful. It's fantastic, really, really nice. Uh, uh, look at this shimmering colors, just fantastic. And uh, it's a hidden screw pocket clip uh, with enough uh, clip ramp to slide it in and out of your pocket, but uh, the tension is strong. So it's gonna be maybe tricky, um, a little bit tricky to get it in and out of your pocket, but the clip ramp is, is all right. Um, you have, of course, no option of uh, re reverse the clip on this side. It's just gonna stay there. And honestly, it's just sticking out it's gonna make your knife stick out this much from your pocket so uh, that's probably not ideal for me but I mean it, that's just me uh, the blade is something uh, spectacular. I really like the shape, this modified ship's foot, uh, uh, nice jimping going on, pretty thick stock. Uh, there's some cool uh, swedge uh, right there and then full belly, only belly in this deep hollow uh, grind uh, with the dark, uh, it's like a high contrast uh, etch on this blade. You've got a nice sharpening choil, which can also serve as a fingertip choil. Uh, Alliance Design logo right there. Nothing on the other side, nice flats here. It's uh, it's very nicely designed, especially because this reminds me like a kickstop uh, design a little bit because like you see the flipper tab is just hidden uh, into the handle, uh, prof like underneath the handle profile, but uh, it sticks out right here. So kickstop just, it's uh, detached physically from the blade, but I mean, that, that's the idea. When you deploy the blade, you don't have any protruding uh, um, uh, flipper tab, which is a pretty nice uh, design idea. Um, 
So the blade length is gonna be, uh, I, I would say, in the three point uh, three inches, uh, less than three inches, something like two point eight in that ballpark. So it's a small blade. Uh, just just remember that. Um, I like very much this jimping. is uh, nicely spaced. It's not too aggressive, but it's functional, and it's uh, something that I appreciate. Also, what I appreciate a lot is this. That and that. So I didn't remove the second detent here, but I can still close it like that. It needs a little bit of wrist, but guys, can you hear this sound or is it just me? It's beautiful, it's clacky, it's loud, it's percussive, it's piercing kind of like resounding and sharp but at the same time chiming and like like a loud tinkle it's it's beautiful i really really love the sound of this guy It's gorgeous, just beautiful. I think is the the way the uh, internal skeletonization has been uh, uh, done that is creating some you see like this you can't really do you have to yeah, so it's just resounding on the inside of the scales. It's just gorgeous. I really, really like it. I, I also like, uh, I forgot to mention, the zirconium backspacer with this jimping going on and fully protecting the tip of the blade right there. So you're not going to be able to touch the tip of the blade, which is, by the way, perfectly centered. But look at the zirk backspacer. Nicely, nicely done, guys. This is serious business right over here so let's check out how much is this guy going to weight it when you put it in your pocket it's because uh, it feels dense but it's not uh, that too crazy yeah it's 4.58 ounces so not super light but also not too crazy considered the the, the, the amount of metal that, uh, that, that that's involved here of course, in the hand, you have a very, very good grip, even if it's like a small handle. There's no hot spots, no sharp edges. Uh, it's super easy to disengage the, the, the lock because it's a button lock. So, I mean, what do you expect? Uh, nice jimping on the, on the spine of the blade. Some nice jimping even here in the back spacer. It's gonna give you a nice grip, a nice uh, traction there because everything else is a little bit slippery, a little bit sleek and uh, smooth and polished and cool and shiny so not grippy uh, whatsoever but it's uh, it's good because the shape is right so it's not gonna go anywhere it it feels safe and strong and reliably uh, sturdy in your hand fit and finish guys is stellar nothing nothing to say about that it's just gorgeously perfect there's not no misalignment no uh, gaps it's everything is flush and no rattling of course there's no blade play uh, there's no lock stick uh, i mean it's it's just smooth just nicely nicely done um no finger sore because the button lock is nicely done so just you push it and you, you're good to go um this guy is running on bearings the deployment speed is fast and the opening action is smooth um it's it's very well made and uh, i i can see like uh me maybe removing the uh second detent ball um just to have a a little bit more fidgety action but uh, we can't complain guys uh absolutely i mean overall this is a very very cool looking knife it looks uh, unique uh it's uh sounding amazing and the feel in the hand is very very pleasant indeed so there you have it hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching stay tuned